Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We learn together. I have found another video on Algeria. 15, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, 10 things not to do in Algeria. In our previous video, uh, I have done the history of Algeria. 15 things to do in Algeria. I will mention the link of those videos in the description below. Uh, this time I have found the video 10 things not to do in, in Algeria. Uh, the original video is uploaded by Destination Tips. I hope with the help of this video, we learn something about their tradition and their culture and 10 things not to do in Algeria. Let's go. Algeria, that unknown yet wonderful country. Not everybody thinks about it when thinking about their holidays, but they should. So to help you prepare your trip, we bring you these things not to do in Algeria. Know before you go. One. Don't forget your visa. The visa to Algeria isn't particularly the easiest one, and unfortunately, it's required for most countries in the world. So try to have it ready before you start your trip and you'll avoid a lot of trouble. Two, don't expect sleep to be cheap. Mass tourism doesn't really exist in Algeria, so hotels are very expensive if we compare them to how cheap everything else is in the country. You can find prices from 30 euros to 200 euros, although most of them are over 50 euros a night. If you are traveling with a lower budget, you can always get a youth hostel instead, where you'll pay around 2 euros per night. On the other hand, you could always try couch surfing, making sure the people you choose look safe and have many positive references, of course. It's a great way to meet local people. 3. Don't forget your dictionary. Most of the younger people do know English, but don't hold on to that. It's not that easy to find people who speak English. The official language in Algeria is Arabic, and some people speak French, as it was a French colony. So if you want to be able to communicate, bring a French dictionary. 4. Don't get a taxi. Taxis are expensive and usually try to cheat tourists. You can use the Yasir mobile app, which is basically the same as Uber, or get a bus. Although they don't tend to follow their schedules, renting a car isn't cheap either. And if you go to the desert, try to book a flight. They're not too expensive and you'll save some time too. Five, don't forget your cell. If you want to be able to move freely without a guide and find historical places, hotels or restaurants by yourself, don't forget to bring your cell phone and install the Waze app, which is a free driving directions and live traffic map app that works the best in Algeria. 6. Don't travel everywhere. Borders with Libya, Mauritania, Mali and Niger are absolutely no-go zones in Algeria. They're the most dangerous ones, as are remote or mountainous areas. But don't worry, because these areas are far from all the tourist attractions. 7. Don't rely on having Wi-Fi everywhere. Sure, big hotels, offices and random apartments are sure to have a Wi-Fi connection. However, if you're out and about and want to use some internet in Algeria, you'll need to get a local SIM card with data, which will cost you around 5 to 10 euros per month. And out of the three different networks they have, choose Mobilis. It has a better range. 8. Don't forget your money. Here, the local currency is the Algerian dinar, and there are not many places where ATM machines accept international bank cards. Sure, you could try the airports, huge hotels like the Sheraton, or regular banks, but sometimes they're out of money. So to avoid being left without your monies, bring some emergency cash too. 9. Don't start your diet just yet. In Algeria, they eat a lot of fast food, such as shawarma and fries. They're very cheap and you'll find them everywhere. But you can always go to a restaurant to eat nice food if you prefer, which will cost you about the same as Western European restaurants do. Oh, and don't forget, drinking alcohol in public is forbidden. 10. Don't think it's all just sand. When people think of Algeria, they imagine riding camels in the desert. But guess what? There are also cars, buses and trains, just like in your city. 
Yep, this is a civilized country. Sure, the Sahara Desert occupies four-fifths of the Algerian territory, but they also have a coastline, ancient Roman Empire ruins, and stunning heritage of the Ottoman Empire, Spain, France, and more. Where would you like to know what not to do in next? Comment below. That's it for the video, guys. Uh, like this video has provided a lot of information about the traveling purposes like if you're traveling to algeria for a vacation or all you need to keep these things in mind you require visa to travel in algeria don't get in taxi because those are expensive self internet service are not everywhere you have to carry a sim card data sim card uh, for the internet service also you have to carry some cash in case of emergency because they don't have ATMs over there and sometimes ATMs run out the money so they don't accept card everywhere so especially international cards so just make sure if you're planning to travel to Algeria please do please do some research about the country with the help of this video we definitely understand what we do not need to do in Algeria so just make sure be safe to travel safe you must have the knowledge of these things in while traveling so i hope with the help of this video we have learned something new but apart from the, the things which i was expecting more is about their tradition and the culture so let's hope we'll find some video which provide us that information till next time peace out bye bye